Chris Anderson. He doesn't look uh, terribly worried at this stage, but they take the quick tap can of Polamata. Lamb. Now to Stephen Hughes. Back inside for Lamb. Lamb to Halligan, and the pass went forward. The crowd don't like it, but I think uh, referee Ewitt was right on the spot, and there wasn't too much doubt that that may have floated forward. And he's held up nine metres out directly in front of the uprights. Clements goes now to big Michael Smith from New Zealand. Came out of the rugby ranks and has been uh, one of the fines for uh, Canterbury. They go, Clements still standing, swivelling, puts the ball on the deck. They pick it up, dive over, and Michael Smith scores the try. How easy is that? It came from absolutely nothing. Very soft try, wasn't it? When you have a look at it, he threw a dummy. Thought he was going to score himself at one stage there. I don't know what Brett Plowman was doing. I thought he would have knocked him over, but he just stood there and watched him. And they picked up, picked the ball up off the ground and scored a soft try. Well, that might signal the situation of uh, the floodgates opening a little bit here and hits it up for uh, the Bulldogs too. Here he goes again, the hooker, he's straight through Brett Clements. Dave Watson's got him a little bit high. Play on, says referee Hewitt. Look back inside, no one there. Newton. By oh, geez, played strongly. Watson. Watson heading for the line, Dave. Watson's only uh, a metre or so out. Gives it back to uh, Goddard. Goddard to Graf. Graf now to the uh, Tony Durham. Graf's got the ball back. Wants to hook up with his outside backs. Craig Graf very close to the line. Gets it back inside. The Gold Coast in possession. And the Gold Coast are going to score. They're over. And a very good try. They just kept the ball alive. The try's been awarded. So just prior to half time, the Gold Coast charges hit back. And that's a good try indeed. Yeah, it wasn't it ever. A bit of scrappy play there. The halfback, Graf. Good answer from uh, Gokos. It was a bit of an unusual sort of try, and uh, as you can see on the replay, they just kept throwing the ball around and backing each other up. At one stage here, I thought Graf was going to go over the touchline there, and he just flicked the ball back inside. As you can see him, as he was going down, it came off his boot, and it went over to the hooker, and Jamie Goddard, who picked it up, and he scored a try for the Gold Coast. At one stage here, I thought he was going to lose the ball, but he ended up getting it over the line. Glenn Hughes at dummy half. Britt gives it away and a big charge there by Jason Lytton. Clements clears the line to Polamata. Hill gives it out to uh, Martin and he's taken the ground 12 metres out from the Chargers line. Polamata again. Glenn Hughes. Ralph, good ball to Britain. Britt to Timu. Timu's close and he'll score and improve his position by a metre or two. Good hands, good quick passing by the Bulldogs. And John Timu opens up with a good try early in this second half of Canterbury. Yeah, good, uh, good spread ball there from uh, the Bulldogs out to the, uh, the grandstand side. That's the start Canterbury needed. It was good hands through their back line. Good ball here from Hughes, a nice face ball that set up the play. And Britt found himself out in the centres, parked out in the centres on this next ball. And a great offload to Timu, who finished off a great movement for Canterbury. And that's probably the urgent, urgency that Chris Anderson wants for Canterbury to, to win this game today. He's into the Chargers territory. Follow out up. Hill. Martin again. Oh, and a good tackle there too. Only a youngster. He'll bounce back. Oh, Marty's just stuck out the big left. Where's the Chief? And it's on in for young and old in centre square here. Billmore ringside. Live action again now. Shane Kenwood got the ball for the Gold Coast and on the first tackle, put it on the foot. And Silver's got it. And Silver's going straight through. He's got to beat Dave Watson. Nichols there and Nichols come to get him. 12 metres out now. Great break by the fullback for Canterbury, Rod Silver. Hollamount has got it. Short side to Scott Hill. Hill to the line. And they score the try. Well, Scott Hill is enjoying his in first grade. But put that down to Rod Silver. He made the break from his own 30 metre line. And the Canterbury Bulldogs extend their lead to 16 points. That's about it. Yeah, I think the Gold Coast will be ruining that kick off the scrum there. And Hollamount just unloads the ball to Hill for a very easy try for for Canterbury and as you said Richard I think that's about the end of the day for the Gold Coast making a tackle on the 20 metre line was Hurst Hill short side to Stephen Hughes Aiden Ryan's got him in a solid hit too 12 out and Hughes didn't like that he spoke one of Aiden Ryan Glenn Hughes 
Turns it back inside for Jason Lydon. He pops the pass to Michael Hill, and Michael Hill scores his second. But Jason, the right hand uh, upright, a very good try to Canterbury. They didn't worry about the hard stuff. Silver just turned it back inside. Smith got the ball back for a brilliant pass from Jason Lydon. There's that tackle again, uh, Stephen Hughes. Lee Odenrein backslands him there, and you'll uh, Hughes didn't like that at all. You'll see him get up, play the ball, and stick one out here too. There it is. <laughs> Throws the punch there for sure. But he did. And here it is, continuing on, Glenn Hughes. Back inside, Lytton throws a beautiful ball here to Michael Smith and the big fella just steams onto it. And got out of the tackle of Dave Watson and in he goes. Kenwood. But uh, Hurst it is. Busting through, has support. Now gives it to the speedster and Oden Ryan and the Gold Coast Chargers come up with a very good try. A brilliant break by Brendan Hurst and Oden Ryan, no one was going to get a hand on him from there. He got around Rod Silver. It's a nice try. It's, he's played well as the uh, the number 12 for Gold Coast today and I thought he, he's probably been there, one of the standouts for them today and it was a good ball to Lee Oden Ryan. And once he gets the ball with a bit of space, he will not catch him. He's got a ton of speed and... He's proved that over the, over the years and uh, scores a try for the Gold Coast, but a bit too late for him. Goddard, Graf, Hurst, Graf. Good ball to Nickel. Nickel's in a bit of space. Got plenty of support back inside, and Goddard is close to the line and will score under the sticks. So the Gold Coast in the last five minutes have not given up the ghost and they've hit back. Jamie Goddard, ever alert, ever backing up. Nickel made the break. And Goddard was always going to score the try. Yeah, well set up this play here. Is Graf going around the outside of uh, Kenwood, I think it was. And he just gets on the outside. A good straight running play here from uh, Nickel. It is, uh, who's had a great game too. And you see Goddard sticking his hand up there at the bottom of the screen. Good reward for the young fella. He's had a great game and a good strong fend there to fend off um, Martini, who just couldn't collar him. And it's a good try. They haven't given up the charges. That's probably the best try of the game so far. It's a good ball from Graf, who runs around. Supports his 5'8". Nice flat ball to his hard-running centre. Nickel, who's probably had a good... He's had a good game as well today. And and the bloke that's backed up on the inside has had a great game there, Hooker, and uh, deserves the try that he scores under the post. But it's, again, probably a bit too late for the Gold Coast.